Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Space Crew, Blind. Phasmid Champion Kashaya Poros, encountered by crew of Firefly. And he doesn't look too happy. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's go straight to missions, because, uh, well, we've got more stuff to do. Ooh, eliminate Champion, explore Beta Quadrant, expand Hyper Jump. This, this one doesn't seem to appear always, so I think we might want to actually do it. It's a very short one as well, it seems. We picked up reports of Phasma Champion Kashaya Poros near Hera. This may be our best chance to take them out once and for all. Um, so Kashaya Poros. Pilot's an advanced Phasma Beam Fighter craft. Oh yeah, it's really annoying. Are those all beam weapons in the front? With stronger shields and weapons than a standard beam fighter. Kashaya Porus appears to be less communicative and more to the point than other Phasmid champions. Threat level very high. Alright, well, I mean, it's gonna be extra money. How much, actually? It's gonna be 7,500 and 1,000 research, which is very nice. Plus, well, I don't know, I mean, is this, this, is this just the bounty or is this also the mission? Because that would be nice. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing this is all of it. Anyway, let's begin the mission! I've been replaying some Bomber Crew in the meantime, and, uh, <laughs> it's, you know, it's, it's, it's funny. It's fun. Alright, everything into engines as per usual, uh, more into shields, and Nate Noob goes back. Our route is Kronos, uh, Proton Sphere. Okay. Let's launch the Firefly. Alright. So, off we go to objective. Yeah, um, playing Bomber Crew, there's certainly a lot of similarities, but this one... I'm probably gonna be uh, pressing shift a lot now because I'm so used to it. <laughs> Alright, let's charge and let's go. Charging for a hyper jump. Engage. Pop filters in the way. Oh wow, look at this place. Warning, gravitational anomaly. Oh yeah, again, this area is affected by the gravitational field of a nearby anomaly. Leaving confines of the ship will result in certain death. Repair engines, captain stations must be occupied. Yeah, it's the same as before. Uh, oh yeah, I have to actually hold it. So we're going past the black hole. There's the objective. Enemies are, are incoming. This is really close though. We could just escape, but... Uh, uh, you know what? Cancel. They're already here anyway. Alright. Off we go. Go on defensive. There goes the missiles. And there's the, uh... There's the laser fighters, or the beam fighters. Oh, there's more of them. Hello. Power! Still have very good shields in the moment. They're missing us a lot because of that evasiveness. Very nice. Actually, uh, I'll probably use my performance analysis. Should have done it before, but oh well. Yeah, these are a lot slower, these beam fighters, than the uh, than those smaller ones. The interceptors. These ones seem to be a lot easier to destroy. Quite interesting, that auto cannon. There goes one. Excellent. And a lot more XP than usual. <laughs> nice! Oh, there's more. There's one missile. And it missed. Our shields are pretty much full. Because they recharge fairly quickly. And we also uh, evade so many shots. It's very nice. Nice. Performance analysis is about halfway done, a little more, so we're getting a lot more XP, look at that. These are actually a lot easier to destroy, because they're slower, a little beefier, of course. And with those, uh, with those lasers, with the beam weapons, they're more dangerous, but yeah. Our evasiveness is doing a lot here, look at that. Oof, oof, oof. Nice. Excellent. That was excellent, actually. Very worth... I'm actually gonna cancel this immediately so it starts recharging. Uh, that was... It's not recharging, is it? Yes, it is. Um, 
yeah, it was, uh, it was extremely worth waiting here for all that extra XP because we wasted nothing. No armor, no damage, no nothing. Oh, look at that. Destroyed planet. That's so cool. Hera. Uh, enemies incoming. So now we have to locate the champion. This is going to be a really short mission. Oh, yeah. Pressing uh, shift again. I really don't understand why they got rid of that. There he is. Oh, and more of them. There he is. You know what? It's time to call for support. Let's get some fighter support. Can I do cruiser support as well? Yes, let's do it. And the force will be with you. The force of my triple beam thermal laser, that is. <laughs> okay. Let's have some focus fire here. Actually, everyone can focus fire for now. And we'll go on defensive piloting as well. Oh, that guy's right behind us. And he's not tagged. Ouch, 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 ouch. I forgot to put you... Oh, jeez. I've completely forgotten to put yoga onto, sh onto the turret. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, there's a lot of them. There is a lot of them. It's a good thing I've called for all the support I can. So much stuff going everywhere. Unfortunately, performance analysis is not on now. Come on, get these. Oh, man. Ouch. Ouch. Focus fire has been used. Let's use focus fire here as well. Oh, well, I tried, but zero. Great philosopher says, die or die not. There is no try. Well, we've gotten him, even though I didn't really catch it because there was so much going on. Oof. Oh, and these guys are now running away, of course. Shame. I would have liked a bit more XP. Look at our cruiser there. <coughs> Returning to base. Uh, look at that black hole in the distance. That looks cool. Well, that was uh, quick and messy, I would say. Cruiser support seems to last a little bit longer because they uh, use both at pretty much the same time. Yeah, but see, that's the problem with playing Bomber Crew. I forgot that I have to put Yoga onto, onto the turret in the meantime. So uh, we were actually missing DPS. And we still dealt with all of those uh, first phase ships so quickly. It's pretty awesome. Uh, no enemies incoming, it seems. Have we taken any major damage? Not really. Oh. Nothing coming, so uh, off we go. That was a really quick mission. And it was worth it because, one, we got rid of the champion so he doesn't bother us on other missions. And we got some extra money. So very much worth it. Let's accelerate the time. Yeah, I mean, extra XP uh, for the crew, extra uh, research, extra money. Look at those missiles. That's so cool. Oh, there's some bigger damage over there, but none of our armor really left the green zone, did it? Nice. Let's see. No one leveled up anything. Oh, efficient reactor mark too. Yeah. Let's see. Systems. Uh, see, I wish it would give you a little... Um, a little icon here, like that little exclamation mark, so you know that it's, you know, in the efficient reactor. So we've got the efficient reactor mark one, and there's the mark two, which has one more power and a little bit more, a uh, little bit more health. An improved efficient ship reactor, while not particularly well armored, this reactor provides a huge amount of power output. Of course, we're gonna install that. It looks a little bit different. Okay, this one has three of these clamps, and this one has four. Oh, that's gonna be nice. That's gonna be nice. Okay, and as for weapons, I didn't really check it. Uh, we have a second, yeah, railgun Mark II. Well, I don't know. Do I want to keep that railgun? I mean, right now we've got uh, we've got kinetic, 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 and energy. I think I want another energy, maybe. Hmm. Maybe Plasma Cannon Mark III. I mean, it has less... Uh, 
I don't know. These missiles are really nice, though. Less effective in shields. Ship hulls. Well, it doesn't say... I mean, it says effective against ship hulls. It doesn't say uh, less effective against shields, which all the other stuff says. Less effective against energy shields. Uh... Effective against energy shields. Oh, less effective against energy shields and so on, but, you know. You know what? Yeah, let, let's leave it at the um, railgun. I mean, why not? Let's leave it at that. Wow. We actually have to keep an eye out on our uh, credits. I'm, I'm used to, right now, <laughs> I'm used to... Uh, Mark three. Look at that cannon. To bomber crew where I have so much spare money. And the plasma cannon, which I could improve... The Plasma Cannon Mark III. It is quite expensive, but we're going to install it for now. All right, let's go to the next mission, because that one was actually quite uh, short. Investigate Oumuamuamuamuamuamua, an unusual object that was once detected in our solar system. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's too great a coincidence that we encountered it again here. Go and investigate. That was interesting. Delta Quadrant. We must begin mapping the region. Head to the Delta Quadrant and release a mapping probe so we can expand our jump gate network. We already did that one. There's the hyper, hyper, um, hyper jump gate network, phasmid activity. Let's do the investigate phasmid activity. Near Alpha Quadrant Inner. Alright, let's do that. It's just uh, swooping clean. We've received classified information that the enemy champion Anga Hake has been active in the mission area. Proceed with caution. All right, check this out now. No gravity, of course. Yogur goes there. Oh yeah, we could also do this, of course. Some gravity on. Get the, uh, the guns. So, more... Oh, I didn't know you could do that. You can just add the uh, engine stuff without... Um, and it'll, it'll take it from other stuff. Okay. There we go. Now we've got more in weapons and more in shields. Actually, just put more in shields. More in shields and evasion. That should be nice. Let's launch. Whoosh. An even better reactor. Man. Also, shouldn't this give us... No, it's not going to give us more evasion. Because uh, we're already powering the engines fully. STS spiral arm. Accretion. All right, I gotta I gotta use the performance analysis when we get to the final place. So we've only got two jumps to get there, I believe. That's so cool. Halt, foul captain of beasts! Thou hast entered the patrol zone of Anga Heke and shall be slain for your transgression. Oh yes. Uh, how about you guys focus fire here? I know there's more coming. And more. Where is he? He's down there. You know what? I am going to use performance analysis and fighter support for now. Tremble, slavish minions of a misbegotten race, for this is your final hour! Oh, there's more coming. Get him! I didn't have these tags. Come on, let's fire everyone. Boom! 500, look at that. You shall no longer spread your foulness through this bounteous galaxy. We're still at 100. That's insane. Uh, I mean, shields. Um, dude, you've got this guy right in front of you. And he's taking our shields down. There you go. Huh? Boom! 500 XP. That's lovely. So where is he? Anga Haket. We almost got him, but I don't think we'll really get him. Come on, come on, come on. Overdrive. Power! Mm! Get him! Oh, wow. Come on. I'm overdriving it. Let's see how much shields that takes. Ooh. I shall make a quick end of you, O oh, ambulant pustules of a putrescent planet. <laughs> well, we couldn't take him out with just the uh, plasma. Because, of course, plasma is not that great against hull. 
And I think now he's probably gonna get out of there. Returning to base. No, not yet. We still need you. Our shields. Ouch. In the back. Let's get our shields back up. Yogurt. <clears throat> Disengaging from combat. We could do EMP, but that's not really gonna help us. It is my duty to defend all beings of good against your evil ways, O oh, twisted minions of a pit-spawned race. I think he's probably gone. No, he's still there, but yeah, now he's leaving. Alas, I am bested. I flee now, but forsooth, demon captain. At our next meeting, I shall crush thy defenses. So close. Disengaging from combat. Shame, shame. But, oh well. <clears throat> was really hoping. It was very close. Well, it was very close. Oh well. What can you do? Alright. So, let's charge. How's our fighter support and performance analysis? Not that great, but that's fine. Well, uh, we'll call for the cruiser here. Why not? I mean, this is the place where we have to clear the enemies. That looks so cool. I I really absolutely love the fact that you can see the planets and black holes and stuff like that in the distance. You know, it's not just one map here, one map there, um, with a bit of a background. You actually fly around this place, this quadrant. I do like that a lot. Uh, I'm probably gonna call for the cruiser support. There goes the missiles, and there's... Wah, they all missed. Darn it. Yeah, they're not very good at tracking from up close, unfortunately. Let's call for cruiser support. I wanted to wait a little bit so more enemies arrived. We're, ready, uh, we're here and ready to assist you. They, they do arrive quickly. Come on. Oh, you're missing him at close range. There you go. There you go. Taking the full brunt of that. Nice. Destroyed enemy fighter. Still a defensive. That's good. Boom. Okay, now these guys want to park themselves behind us. That's so cool. Boom! Love those explosions. They they are cartoony, just like the rest of the game. You know, it, it fits the art style, but I love how nice and uh, satisfying they made them look. Wow, there's a lot of stuff coming. Our back shields are replenishing now. That's good. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, let's have everyone focus fire, because we're about done here anyway. Focus fire a bit. Transports are coming. Look at those missiles. Go, go, go. Yeah, it doesn't seem like the missiles are really affected much by uh, the focus ability. I could probably check that. Someone probably data mined that from the game. That was cool. Focus fire also lasts for quite a long time. Return to base. You can press tab to toggle. Blah, 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 blah. Charging for hyper jump power drive uh, diverted engines. Bush. Retreating to refuel. I'm assuming we're gonna get more enemies here. Uh yes we are. Oh no, no, wait, wait. wait. There's a fragment of a damaged phasmid weapon. Uh tech near your position. If you could bring it back for our researchers, they would be pleased. Excellent. Everything we can do to get more uh, research done, that would be lovely. You know, I I am honestly, every time I play this game, I'm surprised by how lovely it looks. I really am. Um, I mean, you, you know, it, it follows the nice cartoony bomber style style. <laughs> I mean, bomber style. Bomber crew style, which... Honestly, at the beginning of uh, when I when I first looked at Bomber Crew, I didn't think I would really enjoy the art style with the because I, I I hate bubble heads, you know those those little uh, Funko Pop bubble heads or whatever. They're not even bubble heads. I don't know. I just hate stuff with large heads for some reason. But here, I don't know. I really like this art style, and uh, like I said, every time 
I played this game, I am just surprised by how good it looks. You know, they went for this... They went for this uh, art style, this pixely art style, and it just looks fantastic. The, the effects, the explosions, the asteroids, the shadowing, the, the glow and the light and stuff, the lighting. It looks like Phasma Tech. Oh, I didn't read that now. The black hole, it really looks fantastic. Once again, I digress, but there you go. I do like to battle. Okay. There they are. Quite close, actually. Oh, there's more. Power! It looks like that Phasma Tech is a bit of a fire risk. It'd certainly be a good find uh, for a rather... Ah, blah, blah. Okay, we got a fire risk. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so, uh... That thing is gonna cause fires. This is gonna be interesting. Let's have performance analysis and fighter support, because this is the only place here that will do it anyway. Oh, that thing is gonna start a fire again, so I suppose... Ow, 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 ow. Get our shields back up. Get our shields back up now. There are many fighters attacking your ship. Recommended to put crew, all, all your crew on uh, weapon stations. Yes, I know. I'll right. These guys now. Okay. You're gonna... Only you're gonna fight now. Get him! Oh, this is gonna take a while. Come on. There's more attacking. Uh, where are they? Gotta keep an eye out on your health. Oh, you're doing quite well, actually. Jeez. And there's a fire. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Yogurt, I think we need to uh, hide a little bit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Stealth mode, please. Extinguish fires. And we gotta repair the uh, generator as well. Or in the reactor. And you have to heal. Disengaging from combat. So our shields have replenished. Uh, there's more stuff on the radar that I wasn't paying attention to. Jeez, there's quite a lot of them. Cruiser support, please. Wow, the, the cruiser... Okay, I thought the cruiser came uh, immediately. We could also use ZMP. All nearby fighters it will also temporarily disable your ship's reactor. Not good. Okay. There we go. Off you go, repair the uh, reactor. And then go get that thing. Oh jeez, there's a lot. We might want to just escape here. Oh yeah, I wasn't on defensive either. Ouch. On. Get him! Focus fire, everyone! Gravity generator requires repair, that's fine. I'll do it now, but... Okay, our shields are going back up, excellent. There's so much stuff going on. I think we've got everything tagged, right? Extinguish fire again. <laughs> Yeah, that uh, railgun isn't actually bad. It does hit quite a lot because of its speed. You know, no fire at the moment. We could go back onto the turret, I suppose. Hit him! Oh yeah, because you've got the missiles as well. Nice, look at those missiles go! Well, they, hit, they missed a little bit, but... No fire at the moment. Our armor is holding a lot. Look, a lot of scuff marks on the ship, but uh, our armor is pretty good. Fire on board. Would be also interesting if they uh, modeled how much oxygen was in rooms. Turning to base. And that was it. Wow. 
That was uh, quite interesting. Need to repair O2 generator. We need oxygen. Yeah, both of these missions were a bit messy. I have to get back into uh, the swing of things. Of playing this game. But it was extra XP. Nobody got really hurt. So that's good. Extinguish fire, please. Tag Athena Station to land. Yeah. Oh, wow, look at the... Look at the uh, windows over there. They're actually cracked. That's cool. I mean, if you think about it, creating a spaceship with that many windows at, or any windows at all for, meant for combat would be quite a liability, but I'm assuming it's some space stuff, sci-fi stuff, like it's stronger than the actual steel or something, I don't know. Or whatever alloys they're using. Ah, this guy escaped. Shame. But we did get an extra 12, uh, 1250 research, so that's really good. Nice. Okay, we don't want to see what we got. No, 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 la, 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 because we're going to check it and be surprised. Defeated by the crew of Firefly. All right, let's see. We've got some space crew gear. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, what do we have? We have heavy powered suit. A heavily armored suit which provides good protection. It is powered to mitigate its bulk and weight, so it has less of a negative impact on mobility. That's really nice. Look at that. I mean, it doesn't protect as much, but instead of minus 35, it's minus 5. Wow. That could be useful for a uh, Nade Noob, um, although he does have the uh, radiation stuff. Look at that. That would provide him with a lot more protection. Not from radiation, but from uh, attacks. And uh, not really slow him down. That's pretty cool, though. I do have to say... We've got some new gloves as well. Heavy Gloves Mark II. These gloves provide great protection to the wearer at the expense of mobility, but I like the engineering gloves because they help with you know, stuff. So you still have the Heavy Gloves Mark II. Uh, I mean Mark I. So these ones actually give you a lot more protection. We're going to do that. Uh, yogurt. An alcove. And a Hex Demon. There. Lovely. Okay. And let's see what else is there for uh, Firefly. Uh, this is the same stuff as before. High, high capacity shields mark two. A very high capacity shield recharger. It creates extremely strong shields, but has a slow recharge time. Uh, right. Uh, yeah, I mean, see, these shields recharge... I have a speed of 100 recharging, and these ones 25, so now the recharging has saved us quite a few times, I would feel, I would say. Not interesting that. I suppose we could do an improved oxygen generator, so it doesn't always go poof, poof. Mm, but then again, considering that we're still running with a Mark 1 oxygen generator, it has been fairly reliable, to be completely honest. Armored reactor with a lot less power. I like that power, though. Medical bay, very expensive. Jeez. I think we could go for a uh, Mark III here. I mean, it's 90% reliability. I'm assuming this is percentage, as always. A high-quality oxygen generator. It's well-armored and much less likely to break down, as well as gives the air a pleasant aroma of vanilla. So we're going to install that one. So we don't have to worry about it as much. And it can take, you know... Two and a half times as much damage as the original one. So, uh, that's, that's pretty good. I'm waiting for more shields. Should be quite good. Uh, medical bay. I'm, I'm still happy with the uh, normal one. I mean, they are quite expensive. Would be nice to get a Mark III. Because it uh, heals a, bit, a little bit faster. And has a lot more uh, healing capacity. But, eh. Actually, look at that. I didn't notice that. Look, this is the Mark I. This is the Mark II, it has two blue lines. This is the Mark III with three blue lines. That's pretty cool. That's a nice touch. And this is the Mark I with the fast, and it's got little uh, uh, arrows. That's pretty cool. I like that. Also, the difference between these pods is so small, and they are quite expensive. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you're enjoying this, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.